Hey there everyone, this is Danielle checking out Toho Lunar Nights. Um, I've been curious about the Toho series uh, recently. Uh, one of my close pals, who's also really into Guilty Gear and fighting games and Soulsborns and other things that I've suddenly gotten into, is really into Toho. And has recommended this game, which is a Metroidvania, as a really good way to get into the series. Uh, like, the, the um, Toho games that are quote-unquote official uh, are like um, bullet hell shooters. Uh, it's called Danmaku, I believe, which I think is just the Japanese way of saying bullet hell. But uh, this one is not. This is a Metroidvania, which is a different genre. <laughs> uh, and I've been told this is a really good way to start to get into the games and see what it's about. So I'm going to jump in here. I believe Toho is the correct pronunciation. I did some searching real quick. Uh, people say Tuhu and uh, Tao Hao and all sorts of weird things, but Toho seems to be correct, so that's what we're going to go with. Uh, I have already gone in and configured my settings. Uh, I'm using a uh, flat box to play. We'll see how that goes. Uh, I will grab a normal controller if that turns out to be needed, but I don't think it will be. Uh, this already has all the buttons I need, so we'll give it a shot. <laughs> uh, I don't really know how the controller compatibility is for this thing. It seems to be fine, but I suppose we'll see. Uh, I'm noticing there's some sun coming onto my camera here. Uh, I might be able to... something in the way to block it. Higher up. Hmm. That might be a bit annoying. Uh... Yeah, that's better. Okay. I assume the sun's gonna move as the only thing. We'll see how we do. Uh, let me see, we've got three save slots. Uh, you can play as green or red, pinkish or blue. I imagine the colors don't mean anything, but it's cute. Uh, let's go in. <laughs> Time has finally come. I think that's some... Um... Uh, that's Romelia? Romelia Scarlet, I think is that character. Now, my world will begin. Back here. I don't really know what Romelia sounds like, so I'm just improvising here. <laughs> okay, we have a lot of bars and things right away. My space. This is Lady Romelia's voice? Okay, so it is Romelia. I thought so. <laughs> what do you mean by space? The magic space I made based on Gensokyo. It's exactly the same as the real thing. The better is the same. I actually didn't have to go that far. Isn't it? Right? Become the various tests of this man and make your way to where I wait. Another mm -hmm. elaborate game you create, Lady Romelia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Yeah. I've got a limit on your powers as well. Uh, a limit? Do you have my power to stop time? Mm -hmm. Of course. The game is electronic, you're already powerful. You should be able to use your powers very well now. Good. Here. This won't be a straightforward game. Okay, so for an achievement called Welcome to Lunar Night for starting the game. Uh, I can move in all the directions. Crouch. Looks like I use MP when I attack. Uh, I can't double jump, but I have a bit of a glide if I hold the jump button. Except the stop time button doesn't do anything yet. And I think that's the skill button that doesn't do anything yet. That's the pause. Okay, there's a map on the pause screen. I would play one. Attack with the, with the A and jump with the B. These buttons aren't what I'm using because I'm on a flat box, but it's being treated like a 360. 
Press the down button and then able to remove it. Press the down button. Okay. Hold down the baby. So I can do it in two different ways. I can play too. Hold down the end, at least. Any old time. Oh, that'll let me get through here. His visuals are very nice, by the way. No, my camera's not working. <laughs> yeah, I think this webcam might have like a damaged cable or something. It, it does that. Back. I like how when you're walking backwards, you're a little bit of a backdash for a few seconds, but... Oh, those water effects are nice. Okay, gliding does not use it. Uh, enemies. <laughs> oh, yep, enemies. Approaching an enemy or enemy fire is a gray. You can steal your enemies to MP, HP, and iron to add to your iron. Well, like, you want to go close to them so that you get a gray? Is that the idea? Yes. Okay. Okay. You go near the enemy and that replenishes your, your stats and stuff. <laughs> I guess that sort of replace, re reproduces the bullet hell feel by having you go near enemies on purpose. Level up, boo! <laughs> That's um, a reference to Atelier Sophie. Every time you level up, they go, Level up, boo! I read this already. I think replenish your time, HP does not. Hello. Uh, you're here to know Aku, right? Oh. Hello. Hello. I mean, what are you doing in a place like this? There's just no particular reason. I'm tired, so I'm resting. And my webcam stopped working again. Every time I move the computer, it's got a chance of not working, unfortunately. I think the cable is frayed and is confusing. Okay, we're back. Oh. Oh, come here, Primrose. <laughs> oh. Something feels off. Oh. Must be an imposter, Lady Amelia's face. Great we met here. Good luck. Shall I make a record? Oh, alright, your specialty is keeping records. I don't know what will happen, so can you do me a favor? I understand. Then please make a phone call from that telephone booth. Telephone? Who's? Green box over there. Please try it. So this is a save point? Hello? Huh? Your accused voice from this box? Okay, so Sakiya doesn't know what a phone is. Okay. I know some of the characters are like from the human world and know this kind of thing, but others don't. Because Gensokyo is like a parallel uh, existence to regular Japan for uh, like cryptids to live in, basically. <laughs> don't worry about the GT. Make a phone call like this. Make a record. Please use it often. Okay. Sure. Oh, thank you. Please use it again. Okay, so save complete. Yeah, so save points are going to be little phone boxes. 
not heal you in this game. So when your enemy does heal you, so you can uh, take advantage of an enemy being present. There we go. That's better. These visuals are really nice. Really nice. Hello again, weird robot. <laughs> oh, there's a person in there. Hello. Nitori. Whew. Light test was a success. Uh, Nitori, right? What is that vehicle? This robot I made. Huh? Anyway, human. What are you doing here? You. I guess you could say, I'm flight testing this, we're doing some business. Business? No, business. For instance, what do you think about this watch? Watch? Sorry, but I already have a favorite watch. I don't need another one. You take it. I'm going to use your power right now, okay? How do you know? Use this, you can control your power to stop time. Some strong magic. You should be able to use your power again with this. Being, I thought you have a free of the time of our acquaintance. The only room you do is this. I'll take it for free. Press the X to stop time. That will be pink on my controller. Pink. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Item, yeah. You're an eternal clock. You can now stop time whenever you want. I assume I need that bar at the top to be filled up. Like I'll probably use up my, my time stop ability as I uh, as I go. Oh, I can't go this way. Looks like I can. I can't. Okay. Uh, yes, I can control my power to the to the manipulate time. A bit of a typo there. Not to the full extent, but there's I can do. Annoying to depend on a tool, but I guess I'll have to use this for now. Okay, so yeah, my time ticks down. Uh, and it ticks back up, like, when I'm not stopping time. Okay, so it's, it's very similar to... Uh, there's another Metroidvania that I love called Time Spinner, uh, where you get the ability to stop time. Uh, it fills up like an hourglass, and you're not using it, and you can use that to stop time. <laughs> It's a lot like this. Oh, healing point? Oh, so delicious. I'll manage to be done for your full recovery. Okay, so vending machines are the heal points. Uh, I want to check some of these other rooms. Level up, level up, boom. I assume my, like, maximum stats increase each time I level up. Can't open this yet. Magic I could slide under there? Oh, I can go over. There we go. Okay, so once I get the clock, I can go this way. Because this is my Metroidvania, that makes sense. I really do like the back step animation. <laughs> oh, MP Albacorns? Item set. MP up. MP will be increased by 10. Oh, that's good. How much MP do you actually have? 77. Okay, so upgrade of 10 is, is not huge, but it is significant. So, there we go. I think I should be out of the way of the sun now. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's get back to the game. Level 3. Experience. 
Oh, at least you're not. Is that what I'm doing? Alright. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go. Oh yeah, I am throwing knives. I thought it might be like ice shards or something in the Palace game. But yeah, that is knives. This feels very fluid. Uh, I don't have any abilities yet. It's you know, Metro Vania, you can kind of unlock stuff as you go. But stuff I can do with my current controls. My movement feels quite uh, fluid and capable. Can I walk on the water by doing that? I'm guessing I need to, because it looks like I can't jump that high. Yeah, let's go to jump. Yeah, that's what I thought. Attacking when time is stopped is just time instead of MP. Any movement when time is stopped produces time. I don't need to resent it because I don't want to stop time. Grabbing my knives back and then punishing them to the floor. Not sure. I'm also not really sure where I'm going, I'm just trying random directions at this point. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll have that. Thanks for recovery. up a little bit. Um, my HP and MP don't. It looks like you have to get an object. Oh, right. Oh, I see. You can do it like this. Oh yeah, I can fly. Oh, that's cool. I'm a waste of my time ability, but it's cool. You just place a bunch of knives and stuff, and they all launch out at once. Oh, that's cool. Uh, oh, that's right. Magic point out. Can I? Hmm. So I that with I wonder if I can jump on enemies while playing this stuff. No, I can't. I can't the damage. Then I don't think I can get up there. In time spinning, you can jump in and find yourself. It's not the worst part of the game. I'm a little more HP. 
I think that's what you're supposed to do. Ah, the big rage. I can't actually hack upwards. Oh, I can. Okay. I actually tried that, but the, the um tutorial didn't mention it, so... <laughs> There's a save point, I'll take that. Save the point. has like a red, my health bars are like the red section that I'm refilling when I grade. Kind of like I'm rallying in blood form. It still feels like past that though, so I'm not quite sure how that effect works. So this, yeah, the grade mechanic basically lets you do Dan Marku style stuff in a micro game, which is really cool. I like that. I've never finished cleaning at this rate. You beat a hundred minor enemies. Okay, so here, you can see water on the other side, so I need to get past that water. Uh, and then time stop over here. If I can jump up. That. So my damage is now high enough to kill those guys with one blast. It was like two before. I would assume I'm gonna get better platform abilities. Right now I'm not very good. Yeah, that's some sort of pickup that I probably want. Stop time and grab it. Item get. You got sliding knife. Okay, I can now use down and jump to slide. Okay. I had a feeling I would get something. Oh, and I have to use the sliding knife to get to here. Yeah, I think beating up the knives might beat up your own recovery. And now I can go this way, which I couldn't before. You can see my health bar stays, like, has a red section for quite a long time after I take it here. I'm wondering if that is some sort of rally like mechanic, but I'm just not understanding yet. Help. I can't reach that with the ability to I'm taking a lot of damage. Oh, fuck. Uh, when I game over, does it just reset me back to the last save? Yes. Now I don't have flying now. Play this a bit more carefully. <laughs> what I probably want to do is use time in a panic situation because time stop lets me attack without sending MP uh, and also you know stops all the attacks from moving towards me. Out my knives, like, what's the issue with some of the MP I used to throw them? So 
Pixel regen is normally fairly small, but if you pick up a knife, it builds a bit quicker. when you're in the water, you'll be stuck. Okay, nice to have a slide. It's interesting that you don't start with it, because um, one of the other Metroidvanias I play a lot of Bloodstained, you do start with a slide. Yeah. It does almost no damage, but it exists. Yeah, it does decent damage. And it doesn't use any MP. You just have to stand near it, and it's the one that does it. You never have to like, interact or anything. Same with the vending machines, they just heal you right away. They might be the reach that because I need some sort of double jump. Maybe the ability to stand on enemies will kind of stop, but I'm not the game's gonna give me that. It might. The height of my attack does not change regardless of depending on if I'm crafting. It's a little inconvenient. Uh, it's a key, I have need to step off. Yeah, you can't go through that waterfall while time is stuck. Let's see Ghost Reward, because the water's not going to Most other Metroidvanias use just like an MP for special attacks. Once you have the MP anyway. Metroid doesn't. Metroid have fine, like well defined ammunition of everything. Warp Zone. Step on a Warp Zone and teleport to another Warp Zone. You can't move Warp Zone you've never seen before. If you Warp Zone you must know at least two Warp Zones. Okay, so yeah, it just works like the Warps in essentially any other Metroidvania. There's a system just like this in uh, Bloodstained and I think most Castlevania games. Where you just find these rooms and you can go from one to another. Holy Knight has it too, actually. It's not called a warp zone, it's called um, something else. <laughs> it, it, it's a, like a, 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 it's like a uh, 
boss or something, you get onto like the beetle and the beetle right if you play. But yeah, it's the same mechanic, you have to find each one. With the exception of the one on the surface, which you unlock by finding one of the others. I've not been yet. I'm in this way. How to play five? Red grades. It's easy to graze when time is stopped. Only still small amounts going to be in time. Okay, so grades will show up in red when time is stopped, but it doesn't give you as much recovery. Okay. Oh, what you talking? Sorry. Hello. Huh? Is sorry? Why did you pick up? What are you talking about? I'm the one who stole that phone. Y you are? Is this lock working? Yes, it's very useful. Glad to hear that. And by the way, the store is ready, so come by when you have some time. What? I said I have some that might be helpful, so I come to my store. I gave you that clock, right? I don't have any money, though. You have jewels. I'll buy them from you. Oh, the ones that are on the road! Those are precious resources, they have a lot of value. Mm, that'll stop by soon. Okay, so we can go shopping now. Mm, I guess we can buy healing potions and stuff. You can usually do that in these types of things. It's nice that my default attack hits multiple enemies. A bunch of those things are in Quite helpful. Get over there. I think I need to ride the platform. There you go. Uh, what's this? I didn't get. You got auto aim. Throw a knife that automatically ends the enemy. MT cost 30. Okay, so I've unlocked a skill. I believe I'll be getting more skills. Uh, right now I have one. <laughs> if I... Oh, that's quite good. Expensive, of course. 30 MP compared to like... Two. But... <laughs> worth it. Look at that. Oh yeah, and I'm picking up jewels when I kill enemies, and I'll be converting those into money. Okay, I see. I actually know what this key is. You got a red key, I can do it with a red or more. Okay. So can you tell me how many jewels I have? Oh, it does at the bottom. Though. You can see it shows the different types of jewels and how many I have. I did. Hey. Uh... Oh yeah, I got the red key. I can go through that door in the opposite direction. Okay. I really do like the animation in this game. That key is very cool in the movement. I haven't seen a boss yet, I'm assuming we're coming up on the first one soon, but there won't be a lot of game without any bosses. I like this graze mechanic. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like a Dan Marku thing where you want to dodge like blows to the bullets but not hit them. I, I think that's a thing in standard Toho games as well. I'd play 6. Because that's a skill, press the Y to use it. There's several skills. Press down the Y to change skills. Down the Y? It does actually then pay when time is stopped, it will use time. I have um skill up and down map to the next couple of buttons. Purple and orange on here. Uh, with green being the skill button, so 
I, that description was a bit strange. Hello, how are you? Natori, what is it this time? I forgot to tell you this, but I installed a vending machine. Did you notice? A vending machine? I improved a machine that fell through from a parallel universe. You can drink some delicious juice. Perfect for recovering strength and magic. Try it if you want. Oh, don't forget to throw out empty cans. Oh, that box of the drink came out. I've already tried it. Good. I think the boss fight is soon, but if you want a shop, come again anytime. Boss? Boss fight? Bye bye. I might go shopping before I do the boss. Just to make sure I'm really equipped. I might just start. Uh, there we go. So the auto aim isn't that good, but it's it's decent for clearing out a bunch of enemies. You've gotta be careful if they're close, it's just, it doesn't like seem to prioritize close enemies or anything. relatively easily, I think, in the shortcut I opened earlier. Okay, I can't go up there yet, I'll make like a double jump. Back this way. These guys had a picture. This wall, yeah, I thought so. Looks like there was a spot on the map, so naturally that means there's a room hidden here. Uh, not in it. I think I already went here and forgot about it. <laughs> Be a good idea to use time attacks rather than uh, the other kinds more often. Do you feel? I got stun knife. I got stun knife and electric shock. And he's got 10. So now I feel the switch. Yeah. I can swap by pressing my purple and orange buttons, like I said. Give it a try. Try to shuffle up here, right? What she's got for offer, on offer. Welcome. I have a lot of items here. If you're not gonna shop, can you return to watch? Okay. Uh, I guess I just want to sell all my jewels. I don't think they do anything else. Cancel button one, I think. Is it health, HP recovery consumable? MP recovery? EP recovery? Top ticket, cool matory. Total clock, increase the time gauge. Increase the number of knives used when time is stopped. And. Okay, so. I can't afford any of the status up items, and I don't think I need the. I'm just gonna. Thank <laughs> you. 
why do you hit the enemies? That was what you sort of touch them without. So I'm not going up, go down one. Back to the right one. I don't know if you get better jewels if you're fighting the enemies better, or if that's just okay. It would be a neat thing to do. Last time. Take one step further. What are you doing, Mei Very sorry. These are orders by Lady Romelia. Me? You are real. You want to pass. You must defeat me first. I usually wouldn't have any problems with it, but this might be a slightly difficult fight with the current. Deep salutation. There are some typos in this game. They're minor, but they're there. Lady Romelia said there's no need to go easy on you. Pay yourself. It's unnecessary. Come at me. Oh, oh, whoa, okay. Thank you, God. I don't have that ability. Closing, but I think it's up. Yeah, the conversation just skipped the matter, but it didn't ask me to do it again. Oh, she has a health bar too. I put that bar at the other end of this Oh, I take a lot of health from me. <laughs> well, she's much better at guarding. I didn't think I had that ability at all. Swapping to auto on aim. And that goes. Pat Ocean. And then she's got. Firing her head. Also hit her when she's in mid air. Um, water. That's a good way to do a decent type of damage. I'm not seeing a lot of MP, but it might be a good way Right, I can stop time. I should probably be using that more. <laughs> what about that? Alright. Um... And the time replenish and the time stop replenish is much more quickly as well. Yeah, I think the key to this fight is stopping time more often. It seems to be helping a lot. Did you 
time replenishment, the time replenishes very quickly compared to your MP. And when you're using your special, with time frozen, they use time instead. We're getting better. I'm getting better. Learning her move set is helping as well. I'm dodging a lot better than I was. Okay, not that hard when you're playing with the correct mechanics and you know, know how to play. Ow! <laughs> I'm still okay. I'm still okay. I took a big hit there, but I'll be fine. Frustrating. Let me pass. Can't be helped. It's Sakia san. Oh, interesting. They didn't, um, usually when you're writing these types of honorifics in English, you would hyphenate that rather than writing just two words. I guess that works. What? I don't know if this will be of any advice, but I'm not your only enemy. So, um, please be careful. I'll remember that. That melee is the real melee. Dear Amelia really likes complicated games. Okay, I'm gonna head back and just get a little of the handy dandy Kiwi Claw. I assume I'm gonna get a new ability from Peppy the Boss. Made in the Pocket Watch of Blood. 
Watch out, there was man for gore in there. Oh, that. Okay. <laughs> have an attack. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> I mean, I saw them having an attack, but I didn't think it would be quite so uh, I suppose that makes sense. Which is part of the bullet hell project. Oh, they can dodge. jump over the enemy, you have to stick it out. Can auto aim those guys out of the way? Yeah, I can go under the road mix. Here I need to jump over the road under it. Like that. I'm low on health. <laughs> I am dead on health. <laughs> I do wish save points heal. Uh, because they don't. Uh, they only save. In other games like this, they do also heal. Like, you don't have such a uh, Like, for example, Blood Team. I'm a big fan. Role A is a magical life.
left my door open in case you wanted to come in. Another warp room, or is it the hat? So that will let me travel back to the other warp room that I found earlier. Oh, it's like the hard power of these guys is again. Oh yeah, the chain looks sort of broken. Double jump, and if I can more. I don't know why it's a double jump knife, but I can double jump. <laughs> Knives, well known for causing double jumps. Level up. So that feels really good, double jump and then glide. Okay, I hit a save point a little while ago, so we're okay. Okay, we're going for about now. Uh, this game is really fun. Uh, I need to work on my instinct to use the time power more often, because it's clearly extremely good. Uh, and I'm, I'm enjoying meeting these characters. Like, I know all of them, I just don't know them very well. And it's really nice to play a game that they're in. Uh, I do think it's a little weird that you can run, run out of MP and then not have a basic attack. I think by uh, using the time powers as often as possible, it's hard to have you. Do they have, like, teapots floating around them? Yeah. Okay, I 
nobody needs more help to travel well. I believe there's some other places where I can possibly get control of this thing up. have been like the sliding knife and the double jump knife. I'm guessing knives are like a thing. <laughs>
don't know if I'm going to be able to come over here yet. Oh, thing. Item get? I've got a knife. The number of knives you can be throwing when time is stuff. Hey. Um, so this is. That's it. Fine. I like to throw more knives, I suppose. There's also a health up somewhere in this area, but I can't remember the exact I don't need to place markers in this game, otherwise I would. Oh, it's just this is kind of easy to get I think here I need to double. No, it's water. I'm gonna jump out of the water. Or jump on the floor. That's another red door, so that's so, like, actually killing enemies doesn't heal you. It's really good. Like, this kind of game that often will drop, like, a collectible or whatever that will do. This one it doesn't. You have to stand near enemies to get here instead. Go to Gisari. Characters 
Uh, I'm really curious where, like, the story's going to go. It's not far yet, it's just sort of, you know, uh, Lady Romelia is doing some weird shit, so. We'll see how that progresses. Um. Oh, wow. But that's my key item collection thing up there above the map. There's a lot of stuff in this game, but look at Oh, gosh. Okay. Um. But, yeah. Uh, I guess that's about all I've got to say about it. Um, I'm having a lot of fun, and I'll be enjoying this game more. And it plays pretty well with one of these. Uh, I imagine you could play it with a regular controller as well and have no problem with it. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'll be playing some more off camera, of course. Uh, and that's about it. <laughs> Bye!